YouTube. Here we are with a, well, a bit of a not so much an unboxing video, but a revealing video. For those of you that have been watching my videos for a few years now, you will know that I had a little orange Echo uh, chainsaw. You know, it was a smaller motor. It had a 16-inch bar, but it did everything I needed to do, including hacking up pumpkins. However, uh, here a few weeks ago, uh, my little Echo chainsaw um, seemed to grow legs and walk away. I have no idea how that happened. I know exactly where I stored it, exactly how I stored it, and, um, you know, it just happened. So, of course, uh, me being me, um, I went down to the big uh, dealership here, picked me up a chainsaw, and yes, uh, for those of you that can make out that name, that is the brand of saw. Okay, guys, so let's uh, open her on up. Well, revealing, uh, well, the saw itself. Of course, it's your standard uh, steel colors, the uh, gray and orange. So I would take her out of the case. Pretty much, uh, there's the saw itself. Uh, it did come with the, uh, well, temporary use type of, um, you know, bar guard. As well as the carry case comes with its uh, insta installed bar guard. One thing I like about the carrying case is there is a spot formed inside the uh, bar guard there for a T-wrench. So you're never without your wrench. So we'll slide that off. And yes, guys, this is a brand new saw. I haven't even, uh, well, it was fired at the dealership to make sure it worked. But I have never even started it myself. Nor, of course, as you can tell, you know, cut anything with it. The steel brand of tools is uh, manufactured in uh, Germany. So, you know, they got a pretty decent name, two of them. They have a pretty decent, uh, well, quality, right? So, of course, this engine displacement is uh, 45.4 cc's. The power head, um, I'm assuming without the bar, weighs 4.6 kg or about 10.1 pounds. It, this bar here is a 16 inch, but you can upgrade to an 18 inch bar, so it does have room to grow if I ever start, you know, cutting down larger trees. Fuel capacity is about 15.9 ounces and chain oil capacity is about uh, 6.8 ounces and of course it has a, what they call an oilmatic chain. I'm assuming basically you don't have to uh, pump it anymore like the older saws used to have like a um, I'll call it like a primer bulb type of uh, thingy that you'd pump which would oil the chain. So of course it has a side access chain tensioner. Well these bolts here they hold the bar in place where you have a little flat slot where you stick your T-wrench in and you can adjust the tension to the chain. Uh, one of the things that's in uh, this here saw kind of as a feature is a no tool uh, bar oil cap removal as well as a no tool uh, fuel cap removal. Basically, you flip up this little black wing nut and that gives you the leverage to remove your cap. Where the old saw that I replaced this one with, so of course you had to have the T-wrench to take your caps off. So basically guys, um, the model of this here saw is the MS250. I don't believe I mentioned that at the beginning. Switch. There's a little black switch on the back of this here cover. You should never really have to remove this cover for much of any reason. But once that cover is off, of course you have your air filter. And you have a, what they call a summer winter shutter. In the summertime, you take the uh, shutter and it sits like that. In the wintertime, you turn the shutter around and it drops on down. And basically what it does is it allows the heat from the engine to get to the carb quicker and it'll warm up and run better. And for those of us that like to service our equipment at home rather than taking it down to have it done at the dealership, of course that's your spark plug. So to put the old cover back on it's basically the same uh, process as what you did to take it off. The slider on in it drops down over the handle over the uh, black choke lever 
and it pops in the little groove. You lock her on down and basically she's good to go. Well, it starts like any other chainsaw does. So pretty much it starts like any other chainsaw. You have your full choke, your half choke, and basically your no choke. And then your on off switch is basically right there. And to get her down into full choke, you have to squeeze the throttle and then it drops right down. So of course, the moment you guys have been waiting for, let's give her a start up. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's start this saw. So of course, so of course to do a uh, cold start, put her on down into a uh, full choke. And of course, let her, you know, pull her a few times. When she kicks over, we'll uh, turn it a half choke. Okay guys, there you go. We got ourselves an operations check. Uh, one thing I will say, it's a little bit uh, more hard starting than uh, the Echo was. However, of course, it's a brand, brand new chainsaw. Never been run before. Where the Echo was a uh, classified find that I got for a very, very, very uh, cheap, reasonable price. Um, I believe my Echo was only used, uh, you know, three or four times before I got it. It didn't even have a lot of bar wear, like the paint was still 100% on the bar. So of course, as you've seen, we cut through, you know, a fairly good chunk of the tree. It's about a six inch round. Then I thought, well, let's see how, uh, you know, thin we can get them. And well, this one's about a quarter of an inch. This one's probably about, uh, you know, a uh, half inch. And of course, this is about uh, three quarters or so. The uh, chips that it leaves behind, well, they're, you know, fairly coarse. It must be the type of chain. So of course I uh, forget the uh, name of the special they had. I think it was like Outdoorsmen or Woodsmen or something. Um, the uh, kit came with a uh, fancy uh, red st uh, steel hat. Um, a 1495 value. And I believe the chain was about a $45 chain which it came with that as well and of course this uh, chain guard is a well added accessory as well it comes with the saw and of course uh, with the special it came with the carrying case and of course with the special it came with the carrying case so of course uh, with the fancy uh, chain guard that came with the case you put the saw in there it locks it in there and uh, well if it's in the back of your truck or whatever rolling around the saw itself um, would resist getting damaged so pretty much guys under first impression of this here saw uh, it's fairly decent um, it's gonna well exceed my needs um, it will if eventually I need to you know uh, work with larger trees larger pumpkins or whatever um, I can change up to an 18 inch bar uh, where, you know, previous saws that I've owned, you're kind of stuck with a, a small motor and the 16-inch bar. Of course, I will do a follow-up video in a few months. I have a bit of a tree project coming up here where I've got to do some trimming. And this saw here, well, will be the weapon of choice. But that pretty much concludes the unboxing, if you will. And uh, first look and first cold start of uh, Steel Brand model MS250 chainsaw. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.